Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a blessed day. I know, long time no see. And I apologize for that. I have been uh, just dealing with life, as we all have to. Uh, sorry for my appearance. If I wait for things to be perfect, I'm never going to get anything done. And I am recording on my iPad Mini, and I'm not sure exactly where to look. So if you see me looking odd places, forgive me. <laughs> This is the Christmas haul from Houston and thereabouts. <laughs> I know, a long, long time, and I am so sorry. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's just been one of those, one of those times. So, anyway, I hope you're all doing great. To all my lovelies that have continued to stay with me, even though the videos have been very sparse, thank you so much. And if you are watching for the first time, uh, <laughs> go back and watch some of my older stuff. <laughs> and uh, try to catch up with me because it's crazy. Anyway, uh, yes, I have to put the glasses on. And I'm sorry if there's a glare on them. I apologize. But I have to see what I'm doing. So, Christmas. Um, let me let me go back and explain something. Um, for years, I have done a themed Christmas tree with teal and silver and white on it and peacocks. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and as most of you know, I love peacocks. So this year, in honor of my husband, because he always loved traditional Christmas, we decided that we would go with a very traditional Christmas. Well... I used to have a lot of ornaments like that, but we lost quite a few of them in the fire. Um, and lost my house in 2014 to a fire. And slowly have been rebuilding stuff. And, and then, as most of you know, I lost my husband, my mom first. And then eight months later, my husband. Um, and then, some of you might not know, I lost my little Bambi dog um, in uh, June. So, it's been a tough couple of years. <laughs> But I'm still kicking. So, we have decided this year that we're going with a very traditional style Christmas with the red and the green and the, you know, the brights. And So, I've been on the hunt for vintage Christmas items. And I don't want this video to be too long. So, I might have to divide it in two parts. And if I do, just come back for the second part. But anyway, so I found this, ooh, found this little tiny nativity um, set. And here is the manger. And this is going to go in my small tree that's in my, um, in my, I'm trying to figure out where to hold it, in my dining room. But yeah, it's just, it's, it's just a miniature, um, nativity set. So anyway, I found that and it's got all the pieces to it. There's, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 12 pieces to it. So I was really excited to find that. And then, and I'm not going to show all of these because there's a whole bag of little tiny ornaments. But there are a few that I would love to pick out and just show to you. Like, look look at the little gingerbread. It's a fat little fella, too. <laughs> and then we have the little uh, moose. I mean, these are so stinking cute. I just love them. And there's several little snowmen. I hope this is filming okay. I really don't know. And this cute little teddy bear. Just absolutely adorable little mitten. Um, ornaments. Um, love the little dog here. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So, yeah. Uh, um, oh, and there's a cat in a box. <laughs> Just a bunch of little cute ornaments. And I don't know how many is there, but yeah. There's a bunch. Um, this one kind of looks a little creepy. Y'all, Can y'all see that? Turn around the other way, fella. Look at his face. He looks a little creepy, doesn't he? <laughs> anyway, <coughs> so a bunch of those little ornaments. And then I found this miniature tree topper that's really pretty. Kind of traditional, you know, in the star and all that. And then, whoops, they're tangled. Ah. Okay, and then this, uh, my goodness, they are tangled. Anyway, they're a uh, garland of, of uh, glittery candy canes. And then... 
and I absolutely love this, and I think this is so fun. This garland of old-fashioned candy, like the peppermint sticks and the gumdrops, and it, it's gonna look really cute on my little dining room table, uh, which was which last year we did as a glam thing. And then I found this this uh, I don't know, this probably like five foot of ribbon that I'm also gonna use on it. It's just so cute. So that's that. And then while we were in, while I was in Houston, I found this. I think Amy actually found this for me. Um, it's just a nice little Christmas hanging. Gosh knows that glare, y'all, but I, it's so dark here. I'm trying to make sure that y'all can see. But this was $2.99. Well worth it. It doesn't have anywhere, you know, where it came from or anything. But I just love it. It's done with leather straps and it's got this leather thing down here. I just love it. And so I'm going to use that my Christmas decor. So, I got that. Found this really, really, really cute little tree skirt. It's a tiny one. But look at that. And it's raised dimension. And I found it for a dollar. And I just think it's adorable. So, that's going to go on my mini tree. Love that. Um, and then this bag of and I don't even remember how much I paid or where I got this. But this is a bag of, like, straw ornaments. Like, there's the candy canes, um, stars. And they're tangled up. <laughs> the uh, little angels. Aren't they cute? And what else we got in here? We got a... I don't know exactly what... It looks like it's trying to be a, a spade or whatever, but... Anyway, it's cute. Um, and this, I guess, flower or whatever. I'm trying to figure out where to hold this stuff. Anyway, so there's a bunch of those. A whole bag of them. Um, that's going to go on my big tree. I uh, also found these. I'm trying to go fast, y'all. I don't want this video to be too long. Um, the regular price on these was $6.99. And I think I got them for a dollar ninety-nine cent. And they're the, I guess you call them st uh, stone feeling trees. Anyway, it's uh, Mervyn's 1998. And I'm going to take them and like glue some little berries and stuff on them and make them kind of festive. Anyway, I thought they were pretty. They're really heavy too. I uh, found this and this was $2.99 and it's Deck the Halls and it's a ceramic um, she, like sheet music with the apple and pine cone and the berries. So, love that. I just thought that was so pretty. And then I found this Spode Christmas something. Anyway, it's just a little bud base. Paid 99 cents for it. And I just think it's beautiful. And y'all, forget my fingernail. The One of my nails popped off. <laughs> But I just think it's gorgeous. So that's going to be set out at Christmas. And then found this um, uh, false craft like dish, whatever. Anyway, and I paid two dollars for that, and I just it's beautiful. So I'm gonna set. I always have a, a candy dish sitting on my bar uh, or counter, or whatever you call it, for. Um, you know, and have candy in it. So, I'm going to use this for that. I just think it's so pretty. And then, I have this whole thing of ornaments that I picked up. So, I have that. Um, and this. And then, my husband was a sports nut. I mean, he absolutely loved any kind of sports. So, I'm going to hang that on the tree this year in honor of him. And this little snowman. He's metal. No, he's wood. Something. Anyway, he's very dimensional. Like him. Also, this little reindeer in the stocking. This is so cute. And these are pretty good size ornaments. So, you know, they should help fill up the tree pretty good. And then this... Uh, I don't know what it is, but anyway, he's with Cactus. So, I thought he was kind of cute. And I should have sent that to Karen or 
Amy or something like that. And then this cute little tin with the manger scene on it. Really pretty. Um, this uh, reindeer made out of like wood logs. I like him. Um, this little dog. He's so cute. <laughs> Got that. And this little fella right here, it says Jingle All The Way. And he's holding a little stocking. He's real cute, too. And his little things turn around, but that's a little present there. And he's metal. Um, this right here, love this. Now, my husband, this is the kind of stuff that he loved. Absolutely loved. And then this homemade, which the bows come untied, but this homemade out of uh, safety pins. Yeah, you know, I'm going to hang that stuff up. And this little moose, he's stuffed. He's so cute. So that. Another homemade ornament, which I'm, I'm going to have to do a little replacing of the sequins, but I thought it was so pretty. And let's see what else we got. We got this little manger scene here on the star. Um, this one right here, ooh la la chocolate, and that's me. I love my chocolate. So that's going to go on there. And then this... Uh, this moose here, <laughs> he's cute. And no, that's not. I don't know how that got in there. And this, uh, this looks like it was homemade too, but it says made in China. But it's a cute little Santa. Gosh, glare's terrible. So that, and then this is a dilapidated ornament. I don't know. He's got a he, the snowman. I guess is supposed to stand up, but he fell over or whatever. And then I found this. And I love that. We always wanted to go stay uh, in a cabin up in the mountains for Christmas, but we never got a chance to. But anyway, so I saw, saw that. Okay, so that's that. Um, found this. How long am I? Okay. Found this at uh, Goodwill, and it was $5.97. It's pretty good size, and I absolutely love it. Y'all know I love Cardinals and, you know, and the cardinals are there. I just love it. I think it's beautiful. And it's all wood. And then I also love nutcrackers. And uh, I lost uh, my collection of nutcrackers in the fire because they were still in the house. Uh, they were in a box in my closet. Uh, I paid $4 for this. And I think I need to glue this little thing back on or straighten it out or something. Anyway, he is a nutcracker. He's so cute. <laughs> so got that. And then there was another, found another jar of ornaments. And I'm not going to take all these out. But, oh, little Santa Claus coming out the chimney. He's cute. And then this little drummer angel. And my favorite Christmas song is Little Drummer Boy. So, And then this little fella here. My, you know, my son was in marching band. So all these are kind of like really cool. Little train. Like I said, I'm not going to take them all out. But, yeah, just, just little stuff like this. Um, full of, just full of ornaments. This little thing here, which I think is cute. Um, some holly berry. Anyway, y'all can just, there's just a bunch of stuff in there. All kinds of stuff. So, got that. And then, I was so excited for this because I lost my cookie jar in the fire also. So when I found this, I was like, oh yes, it's mine. It was $3.99 at Goodwill. And it is this. And it is a cookie jar. I love it. And it is decorated differently on both sides. And I just fell in love with it. And I was like, yes, yes, please. Yes. So got that. Now, <coughs> excuse me, the, what do you call it? The Anyway, the best thing of all, oh, I'm so excited. Got this bad boy. Now, it, I don't think it's vintage. As a matter of fact, I know it's not vintage. But I found this, and I did pay up for it because I wanted one so bad. And this was at my local thrift store. And um, I paid $40 for it. Uh, but I wanted it. So I got it, and it's about 16 inches tall, and it's gonna sit on my on my um 
far in the kitchen. Kitchen dining room separates the kitchen and living room and all that stuff. I have the open concept thing, which I don't like, but, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, I just, I fell in love with it. And it's lit. I've got the, the lights on, but I don't know if you can tell or not. But it's so pretty. So, yeah, got that. Okay. Uh, that's all I'm going to do. I've got some, I've got quite a few hauls to show you. I've still got King Dollar stuff. But it's stuff that you you probably still find. Anyway, I'm going to close. And uh, sorry if y'all felt like this was so fast. But, you know, trying to keep it short and sweet. I love you guys. I miss you. I'm trying to get back into it. So just give me, be patient with me. Now, don't forget to love on each other and be kind. And um, just be kind, people. Just be kind. It, it means a lot to a lot of people for you just to smile at them. Say hello. Even if you don't get a response back, it's okay. It's okay. Because later on in the day, they might think, wow, I actually got smiled at today. And, and they might smile themselves and you'll never know it. But you did a good thing. So anyway, I will catch y'all in the next video. And I am sorry. I know I am looking in the wrong spot. <laughs> just bear with me. So, uh, yeah, I will catch y'all in the next video. And if you like what you see, you know, hit subscribe, hit the bell. And I promise I'm coming back with more videos. And, um, yeah, because I've missed you guys. So, anyway, I will catch you later on. So, bye-bye from North Carolina.